It is Tuesday night, August 1st. Um, I just got back from an art show at the local college and I'm going to show you. I took zero video of it. So there's no proof that I went other than I have this postcard from going to that show. So yep, I was there and this is some of her art and it's very pretty. Um, was, she had a really cool technique. I think she said it was resin and oil and she layers it and then lets it so harden or cure and then she'll do more layers so it was really neat and I'm sad this got bent up in my purse but what can you do so I went from there to Goodwill um because my friend I was with wanted to look for stuff there and I found I'll show you what it looked like before this is ridiculous I took the parts off and I threw them away I bought this newborn baby lamp from Goodwill. So I took these off because I don't need those gross stuffed animal things. So I bought a lampshade for it and then I got some dinosaurs. And my idea is I'm going to spray paint the base and we're going to spray paint the dinosaur. I'm going to stick this on there and then I've got a dinosaur lamp. So I'm going to try that. Um, I think it'll be good. I don't know if I'm going to have room in Liam's room to put this. If not, I'm going to want to steal it for myself. I just have to figure out the colors that they're going to be. I like metallics. So possibly white base with gold dinosaur. I am uncertain. So I guess it wouldn't hurt to do... Just make sure this is all spray painted white, this lamp base. So I'm going to spray paint this white um, just to see what it looks like. Then I'll spray paint the dinosaur gold to see what that looks like and I'll set them near each other and if they look good then I glue the dinosaur to the lamp base. So the lamp was $3.99, the dinosaur was a dollar, and then the lampshade was five, which was the most. So. Um, $10 dinosaur lamp. I've already got the spray paint. Let's see how this goes. And of course right now, I couldn't find painter's tape if my life depended on it. When I don't need it, that's all I find. It's all over the place. Isn't that how it goes? So I'm just gonna spray paint them white with the primer right now to start. Get some good coverage. Because this is mainly white, it's just this blue strip there. The other thing I can't do is get up here. So it's going to be strictly just the base. Hopefully, this isn't super old and crappy. Primer. Oh, so bad. I was bending down, trying to get around the other side, and I hit my head against this. Yeah, I hit my head on the chainsaw. So it was good, it's not bleeding. That could have been bad. <laughs> Cut my head open on a non running chainsaw. That'd be a good one. Alright. We got Rust Oleum Metallic Light Gold. So I've got a thing with spray painting things gold or silver. That seems to be my thing and it frustrates my husband that I spray paint a lot of things gold or silver. They look nice. So I'm not sure this is what it's looking like for now anyway. Um, he's not glued on there yet just because I wasn't so sure about the color. If I want to stick with gold or maybe a blue. Gold seems a little 1970s, but uh, I don't know. For what? For 
All right, what book do you want to read? Um, yeah, yeah. You want to read Bubblegum? Mm hmm. Okay. Mom. Bubblegum, bubblegum, chewy gooey bubblegum, icky sticky bubblegum, melting in the road. Along comes a toad, a fine fat toad, fine fat wild splat wart back toad. It's a hen, a red ruffled hen. Here we go again. What do you want to read now? Um, pelfish. You want the pelfish? Yeah, pelt pelt pelfish. Pelt pelfish, okay. So I'll smooch, 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 smooch. What does the last page say? Yeah. What does it say? <gasps> smooch. <laughs> um, um, a big book. You want to read the big book again? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hello, it is Thursday night, um, August 3rd. I just put Liam to bed, and I think that I become some weird, like, night gremlin or something when I put him to sleep because I know he's not sleeping. He's just sitting in there. But at the same time, I can't walk around the house like normal. I, I don't feel comfortable turning any lights on because I don't want to wake him up and then just getting out of the bedroom once I get him laid down and settled and starting to fall asleep. I have to like sneak out and then sneak around my house if I need to do anything and even across the house. I'm still talking quietly. So I was telling my husband last night like it's to the point where he just won't go to bed at night. And so trying to get it too. I have to do certain things. And Feel like I can't walk around in my own house. I can't be the only person who has this issue with a two-year-old that does not want to go to sleep. Um, started leaving his bedroom door open last night and tonight because um, he seems to be fine with me walking out in that case because maybe he'll think I'm coming back. And then tonight having to sneak back and try and shut the door because um, it was wide open so I had to reach in and pull it shut and I could hear him with like so he does the thing where he like kind of wakes up so I, I chickened out and I got it so it was about just a little bit cracked and then of course we have uh, we have our floors so my feet I'm not wearing socks so my feet were sticking and that to me sounded like gunshots because it was like trying to get my foot unstuck from the floor which they're not sticky floors I don't know why it seems to me that makes so much noise like if I go to turn my knees will all of a sudden pop which my knees never popped until I had a child and was trying to sneak out of his room and then all of a sudden the only time they pop is when I'm trying to be quiet <laughs> I think my body is just trying to sabotage me at this point so I don't know what to do anymore. I'm just so tired from trying to get him to go to sleep and reading stories and having it be dark and cuddling him so he's warm and then and then I get tired and I fall asleep on the couch while trying to get him to get tired and cuddling's nice but I get sleepy. So we leave for a trip. Saturday morning, we're just doing two nights, we're bringing the camper, um, yeah, we're just gonna hang out and eat some food and we'll see, look at some scenery, nothing special, but still, it'll be nice to get away. My parents are gonna have Liam, so we don't have to worry about trying to get a kid to go to sleep at least this weekend. I can be on my parents. Thanks guys. <laughs> I appreciate your sacrifice. <laughs> Cause I know how it feels. Uh, it's not even 10 o'clock yet and I'm 
I'm ready for bed. Night. There he is. Mom, how are you? Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Monday, we're getting ready to pack up and go. I've really enjoyed this so far. It's been really nice because I've slept until nine o'clock both days. So that never happens. And I've loved it and I don't really want to go because I like market and there's a lot that I didn't get to do. So, next time. Also probably more views. Would have been nice if like the water and the lighthouse and all the other stuff, but we never did get around to Presque Isle at all. So that kind of sucks. Well, we got to we got to it, but I didn't I didn't record anything really. Tired, packing up while Mason's getting gas and watching uh, Quentin's vlog. So I uh, uh -huh. <laughs> I got this awesome adapter thing for my phone and it's sweet because I can just plug my phone in and watch stuff so my arm hurts <laughs> 